The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Macaroos, macaroos. If you've been watching this show for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of Robotech and. Matt Cross is the anime upon which Robotech was based. Or maybe a better way to put that is re-edited and dubbed, and then combined with two other anime. This is Matt Cross on the Nintendo Famicom, all the way from 1985. The year that those of us in the US were getting Robotech for the first time. And over the past year I've gone through a Macross kick where I bought the DVDs of the original series in Japanese and picked up Do You Remember Love, the uh, full length movie. Which is, uh, which is incredible by the way, if you haven't seen that, that's totally worth watching. But anyway, the writing in the original series is obviously a little bit different, pretty similar for the most part, but the music... The music is just something else. Like, I love the music in Macross, and I like the music in Robotech, too. They're both good, but both totally different. Macross has more of a disco James Bond feel to it, which is just amazing. The Robotech theme in the soundtrack has more of a Star Wars influence to it, I think. Both good, just totally different, and of course, the incredible Macross music is pretty much completely lost here in the Famicom version. Instead, we get a shrill recreation of the theme song. Played over and over and over and over again until it drives you crazy and you'll have to make up your own words to it. Yeah, by level 5 I started to get a little bit crazy because the gameplay, like the music, gets repetitive. Quickly. You're flying a transforming Valkyrie, it's awesome. You're blowing up aliens, which is awesome. It's Macross, which is awesome. Why is this game not awesome? You play through the same level over and over and over again until you eventually explode or get bored. Which is a shame because it doesn't look or play that bad, it just doesn't go anywhere. Like a second date with Minmei. That was terrible. I'm totally keeping it in. Woo! And, yep, that's what she said. That one was for Lisa. Macaroos! Macaroos! You can transform your Valkyrie into three modes. The, what is that, Gerwalk, Batroid, and Fighter. Macaroos! Macaroos! Fighting for the future. Something, something, Transformers, Transformers. Let go, bots, but better. It's Macaros on the Famicom. <laughs> Off key, like usual. The Guardian mode, half jet, half robot, is the best for the space scenes, but when you get inside the Zentradi uh, ship or whatever, You'll want the jet, which is the fastest, to get to the core quickly, blow it up, and then score some bonus points and repeat the whole process again. Which is boring. And it probably doesn't help that this looks exactly like Thexter, and you're really way better off playing Thexter instead of Macross. Yeah! I didn't want to believe it, but this is basically just a crappy licensed game. Thankfully, it doesn't cost all that much. I spent 10 bucks and... Well, my loss is your gain. Spend your money elsewhere on the Famicom because there's way better spaceship games than this. Keep an eye out for power-ups. You get extra health, you collect missiles, and you launch them with the select button. While it's a good-looking game for the era, the level design is just non-existent, and, and that ruins it. If you're looking for a good Macross game, go with Scrambled Valkyrie on the Super Famicom or Macross on the PlayStation 2. That's also excellent. And I picked up Do You Remember Love for the Sega Saturn, but haven't played it yet, so I'm hoping it's better than this. Macross. Like Minmei, it's pretty and promises big things, but in the end, just 
hooks up with her cousin. Woo! Yes! That one was for Claudia. The Best of Classic Game Room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set.